Good evening, Gratchity Baptist Church, and welcome to our first youth service. Today, we will be talking on a subject, but first things first, I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet. I lied onto my path and hide its word in my heart that I may not sin against God. Amen. I have pledged allegiance to the Bible, oh, to the Christian flag and for its Savior for which it stands. One brotherhood united in all mankind and in service and in love. Amen. So, the reason why you were not able to see any videos in quite a while of the garden is because we were under renovation. Oh, could you shut that fountain off, please? Thank you. Yeah, they were trying to double run the fountain, but, um, well, unfortunately, we cannot do that. We really cannot do that. So, we were under renovation. So, therefore, the garden got shut down. Some of the renovations included adding mulch. We added a lot of mulch to the area. And we are realigning the stepping stone and it will be safer. We even added more pots, although you can't see them because they're all just bunched up. Don't worry, we're gonna um, unsepar we're gonna separate them again because see that big space there? It's not supposed to be there. This is the purpose of having a lot of pots. So when it gets crowded, then we'll start leaving. We're not supposed to leave spaces. So until we get enough pots, we have to um, just spread them out. They're not supposed to be close to each other until we have too many. We added some more lighting. <coughs> We've added decorative feature to our youth garden. So you see we're doing a lot here. Now. I am going to share with you history. Though this is not the youth broadcast. I made a mistake in the beginning. I said it was. But really it's not. That doesn't start until next week. This is just the in service of what's going on at Grouch the Baptist Church. Because we have to do an in service. Stuff has changed. We have renovated the church. We are trying to raise funding to renovate the pulpit so of course we are going to be working on the church for quite a while because we need renovations done to make this place better more pleasing to God so if you would look one thing we are discussing today is church life. You know why? Because we're doing so much to the church. Chameleon crawl. When we think of chameleon, we probably think of its ability to change colors according to its surface. But... This lizard has another interesting characteristic. On several occasions, I have watched a chameleon walk down the pathway and wondered how it ever reached its destination. Reluctantly, the chameleon stretches out one leg, seems to change its mind, attempts again, and then carefully plants a hesitant foot as if it, the, afraid the ground would collapse under it. 
That's why I couldn't help laughing when I heard someone says, Don't be a chameleon church member who says, Let me go to church today. No, let me go next week. No, let me wait. No, let me wait for a while. No, I'm going to call the Grouchy Baptist Church today. No, I'll just come next week. No, let, let, me, let me wait. I, I don't know when I'm coming. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be a chameleon church member. We're not going to have people laugh at you. Because that's definitely not what we do. But the house of the Lord at Jerusalem was King David's place of worship. And when he was far from being a chameleon worshiper, rather he rejoiced with those who said, Let us go to the house of the Lord. The same was for those to true in the early church believers. What a joy it is to join in with others, worship, and follow Praying and worshiping together, studying the scriptures together, and caring for one another are essential for our spiritual growth of believers. Every day, they continue to meet together. So turn your books to Acts chapter 2, verse 42.